¿Cómo se llama usted, señor? Antonio Pérez. Antonio Pérez. Pérez, me llamo Andrés Pérez. Andrés Pérez, uh, dijo un... Primos. Un, un dijo, parientes. <laughs> hey, everybody, this is Andy, and I'm in Morelia, Michoacán, Mexico. So you already know my cousin Antonio, but I bet you didn't know that he creates, he sells, and he enters his Katrinas among other Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos works of art competitively in the area. His place was the first stop of an awesome tour that I took that'll be split up within the next two videos. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video as I offer you a quick tour of beautiful Morelia. You won't regret it. But before we go there, I'd like to first get you caught up on how I got to this point. So I wanted to tell you a little story about a tour that I went on yesterday. Um, I bought it a, a day before. It was for a tour to visit some small towns around Morelia and to visit an island that was going to give me some great shots and you know, I'd be able to use my drone for the first time. So I paid 500 pesos to a nice lady and she told me in Spanish, you know, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, you meet over in this area. She kind of raised her hand over and I thought, oh, it's close enough. So, so the next day comes, I walk over and, and I'm not seeing anybody. I wait for a little bit. I even walk around the block. Maybe I got the directions wrong. And she calls me on my phone. So I show up and she's kind of in a heated discussion with somebody in Spanish. And I wasn't understanding what was going on, but I thought I'd let, let it play out. Uh, time goes by and nobody's really addressing me. And so I kind of interrupted and I asked, you know, ¿Qué pasó? What's, what's going on? Um, apparently, uh, some of the other clients that they had, were they are having trouble collecting them at their hotel. And decided, you know, if 20 minutes comes up, I'm, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to go on my own. Which is probably what I should have did in the first place because you know how tours are. They're a little more demanding on where you go and, and not letting you branch off. And that's what I need to do. The van actually showed up. And the van was already pretty much crowded. And I'm thinking, you know, this is not going to be good. I was promised that the tour guide spoke English. And when the tour guide approached me, I asked him, do you speak English? And he said, without hesitation, no. <laughs> so I said, without hesitation, I'm not going. Just so happens there was a taxi driver, a friend of theirs that was around. And he helped translate for me. And then suddenly he shook his head and he looks at me and he says, uh, do you want to go? I'll, I'll take you to this place. It'll be a little more expensive to you because it's all day and it's just you. So he gave me a price, 1,200 pesos. I jumped on it. We headed out and uh, he made a couple of phone calls. Actually, he had to call his wife and it was uh, she was a little disappointed because he was expected to, to take her and her kids out for lunch. And it was now not going to happen. So I, t I said, well, why don't you bring them along, you know, just make it a holiday for them. And he thought, well, you would let me do that? So I said, sure, you know, I like kids. What the heck? It's a place where kids like to go, right? So the whole fam, Damley, came along and it was the best tour. Um, I won't go into details. It was a great tour. You'll see it on the video. But this is just an example that when things go wrong, sometimes you let them play out and it turns out to be the best scenario overall. So um, I really appreciate Hill. We, we say Gil, but here they call him Hill um, for taking me on this tour. But I just thought I'd share that with you. Hill, you know, so viejo. <laughs> um, he is from, he is the tour guide here for the, for the day and future trips so his name is Hill Becerra. Yes. Wow, I got my R's right. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. That never happens. <laughs> we are here in Capula. Capula is very famous. Why we are making here the Katrinas. It's very interesting here, the small town. We are going to other places today. Thank you. And your father lives right down here. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> thank you. And this is your home when you come back here. Oh, thank you. Very nice. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm here in the city of Capula. I'm outside of the city of Morelia and it's in Capula where they actually create or they manufacture Katrinas like the one you see behind me. ¿Cómo se llama usted, señor? Antonio Pérez. 
Antonio Pérez. Pérez, me llamo Andrés Pérez. Andrés Pérez, un, dijo un... Primos. Un, un dijo, parientes este. ¿Parientes? No, está bien, ¿de qué lado? ¿De qué? ¿De Estados Unidos? Sí, California. De California, oh, pues qué bien que viene a visitar por acá un rato, está, está muy bien. ¿Qué le parece Michoacán? Bonito. Bonito. Sí. Un poco de calor, pero o sea, no, no, se no. Sí, estaba, sí. estaba en uh, Acapulco. Oh, allá, so, allá hace un más Allá calor. es muy calor. Sí. Esta la, la queremos para un concurso. This is of the competition. Mm, really? Wow. En Uruapan. Yeah. How long does it take to make one? ¿Cuánto tiempo se llevó en hacer esta? Esta, cuatro días. Four days. Nada más que le hace falta su cabeza al, al perro. Si es que no se la puse todavía. Oh, this is the dog. Sí, es oh, que yeah. es lo que... Y, y darle su pintada. Later put in the head. Uh -huh. Here. Andy le, le falta su. Es un perrito, pero le falta su cabeza. No le hicimos hasta después se la pegamos. Esa puti. La pena. Es, nomás que, esa está en esa. No más que estaba llevando mucha fruta en las manastas. Oh, oh, this is a wow. lot different. Inside they putting a fruit. Yes. Sí. That's a lot of work. Yes. Mucho trabajo, ¿no? Sí, esta, sobre todo esta y esa pieza. Esta, pues sí, sí, pues ya están unos como tres días para terminarla, otro día para pintarla bien. Pero esta, el mejor trabajo es este y este, pa, pa, el más trabajo, más bien, no el mejor, sino más trabajo. Y entonces esta, como quiera, pues va a quedar bonita con sus piezas, con todo lo que va a llevar. Uh -oh. Pero esta pintada, pues va a quedar bien porque. ¿Y para, para uno, señor, cuánto cuesta? Uh, esta pieza, esta vale 3,500, esta. Y es mucha diferencia. ¿Ya pintada o así? Mm, pintada de negro. When they painting, mm. but painting black. Oh. Esta es mucha diferencia, esta sale en 2000. This okay. is more difference and this is 2000 pesos. Well, tell him that I think he is a true artist. Yeah. <laughs> Él dice que usted es un verdadero artista. Mm, pues, en, ay, me en serio. Así, no, no, no. Nosotros hubiéramos querido ser mm, buenos, pero en realidad hay unos muchachos que salieron más buenos que nosotros. Porque... He say we are so so, but other younger boys they are better. Oh. <laughs> Well, I really enjoyed my interview and tour with Senor Perez, and I learned a lot actually from him. I learned that the original name was La Calavera Catrina. It was a lithograph from way back in 1910 to 1913, and it was used as a satirical cartoon. Fast forward these days, La Catrina has become the icon of the Mexican Dia de los Muertos. In the United States, her popularity has exploded since the movie Coco. But in Mexico, she's always been. So I'm curious, how many of your families actually participated in Dia de los Muertos? If so, head on down into the comments and leave the word, si sí, senor. Well, thank you very much for joining me on the first leg of my tour. Uh, so much more to come on the next video. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a like and consider subscribing to my channel because there's so much more to show from Morelia. The next couple minutes, We'll prove that that's true.